Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. Did you know there's a brand new birthing center at Wellstar Douglas Hospital? We were at the ribbon cutting ceremony as the hospital was packed with citizens, business owners, hospital personnel, and local politicians to view this new state-of-the-art facility ready to bring miracles into the world each day. Now mothers in Douglas County can give birth and receive treatment for their newborns in-house. The ribbon has been cut, now the work begins. Congratulations to Wellstar Douglas Hospital on the new addition of the Birthing Center. I hope you're hungry because Taste of Douglasville is happening on May 18th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. downtown Douglasville. Here's the CAC's Executive Director, Emily Leitner, with more details on the event. So we have our annual Taste of Douglasville. It is our 26th anniversary, which will take place in downtown Douglasville on May 18th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We block off the streets, Church Street, Price Avenue, uh, some of Bowden Street as well. So it's a fun, family-friendly activity. Um, like I said, it'll be all day long. We have a lot of great events. We'll have our arts and crafts section, a better living section. Well, of course, we'll have our restaurants, a wonderful large kids corner where everything is free. And uh, we'll have our sponsors there that help support everything we do. As a nonprofit organization for the Cultural Arts Council, every uh, thing that we raise during the day goes to help support the programs and activities that we do throughout the year. The Taste of Douglasville is our biggest fundraiser of the year. We have over 12,000 people that come through just in one day. So we bring in people all across the state just for this one event. So a lot of our restaurants include uh, the Irish Bread Pub, Gabe's. We have our wonderful support from our local downtown restaurants, but we also have caterers in our community that come out. Um, Empanada Takeover is one of our new caterers coming in. A lot of people are excited because um, they're authentic empanadas that will be served. Um, and our arts and crafts section, we have everything from uh, beaded jewelry to handmade purses. Um, our Better Living Market is everything um, that is from Tupperware to paparazzi jewelry. And of course, our wonderful sponsors um, like the Douglas County Economic Development Authority, um, all the way to Greystone Power uh, Corporation as well. So we always need volunteers, um, whether it be for the Taste of Douglasville or here at the Art Center. But also if you're unable to make it and want to support the arts, you can go online to our website, which is artsdouglas.org, and click that donate button. Or become a member. Our members are very valuable to us. And you also find out what's happening in the, the arts world um, throughout Douglas County. You're the first one to know about what's going on, and you're supporting a great cause. But you also get discounts on our classes and camps that we offer. So make sure to come on out to the Taste of Douglasville on May 18th in downtown Douglasville from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and support the arts. The resurfacing project for Lee Road is set to begin in May, according to the Douglas County Department of Transportation. Road activities will occur between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So if you're traveling on Lee Road, please expect delays. A press conference was held to provide the public with more information. Take a look. We are gathered this morning to celebrate the significance of this resurfacing project. This would not have been possible without the significant contribution of the citizens of Douglas County and the SPLOST dollars and that I am sincerely appreciative for. And so I'm excited about this road, this two and a half miles um, is one of the key corridors here in, in District 2. We've done Fairburn Road, um, has been repaved. Um, Bankhead Highway has been repaved, Thornton Road has been repaved, and Riverside has been repaved. But this is the one key area with 25,000 road miles that we thought was important. This road was a target for widening and has been. There has been a, a plan to widen the road to four lanes. And for a while, the, uh, the discussion was, well, can we get the, the widening project underway soon enough so that uh, we don't have to spend additional dollars to resurface the road because that will take care of it. Uh, but that project had been delayed and has been delayed, so the decision was made by the commissioners to prioritize and go ahead and, and address the road now uh, and, and so that it is rideable and we have time to prep the widening project in the future. 
It is, it is a main corridor, a main artery in the county. The, the, the traffic volume, depending on the location, is between 12,000 and 15,000 vehicles a day that use this road. So it is quite heavily traveled. The process will take approximately three weeks, three to four weeks, depending on the weather. It is slated to start in earnest uh, early next week on Monday. Uh, the contractor has already started mobilizing the equipment it is an, a, an inlay and a mill and inlay project. So there's going to be a train of equipment operating on one lane and traffic will be diverted to the other lane to go by. So uh, we urge the public uh, to expect delays and, and plan accordingly and if possible uh, to try and find alternate routes while the work is in progress. We do not anticipate any uh, total closures of the road, just temporary lane closures. Um, this is a perfect example of your splossed pennies at work, and we'd like to thank the citizens for voting yes in 2016 for the splossed, um, which allocated, the board allocated approximately $3 million per year for resurfacing. That's in addition to our normal resurfacing projects. But we'd just like to say thanks to the citizens for voting yes on that. The improvement of our roads can't come at a better time because Connect Douglas is ready to hit the streets. Please take a look at this PSA to get all of the details. In an effort to meet the growing transit and mobility needs of our county, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners has expanded transportation options for citizens with the Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service. Whether you're up for dining, shopping, working, or enjoying the many amenities of Douglas County, Connect Douglas's Fixed Route Bus Service will help to connect you to the places you want to go. Fixed Route means the bus will travel the same path and serve the same locations every day. There will be established stops along each route. However, the driver can pick you up anywhere along the route, provided there is a safe place to pull over and let you board. We will also offer flex route, which means by calling ahead, the bus can deviate from its route and pick you up at your location, provided you are within the perimeter of the area we have established for this service. For seniors and people with disabilities who cannot get to the established pickup points on the route, we will offer ADA paratransit, you must call ahead and make a reservation for this service. There is a simple certification process and additional charges may apply. We are so excited about the new fixed route shuttle system that we're bringing to Douglas County. To begin with, we'll be operating Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. One-way fares are $2.50. You can pay with exact cash as you board the bus or purchase a multi-trip pass at the Douglas County Transportation Center located at 8800 Doris Road in Douglasville. Discounted tickets of $1 are offered to senior adults age 60 and older, students, and individuals with disabilities. A photo ID discount card will be issued after completing a simple verification process at the Douglas County Transportation Center. Individuals will use the discount card when boarding the bus or paying for a multi-trip pass. The vehicles are called cutaways and are more like vans than buses. Each cutaway can carry a driver, 12 ambulatory passengers, and two wheelchairs. The vehicles have a wheelchair lift, a bicycle rack, audio announcement system, a fare box, security cameras, and digital destination signs. The Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service will begin with four routes. Route 10 service area will include North Douglasville, the Boys and Girls Club, Arbor Place Mall, Walmart, Sam's, the Douglas County Health Center, and Douglasville Conference Center. Route 20 service area will include Douglas County Courthouse, Wellstar Hospital, West Georgia Technical College, Target Shopping Center, Georgia Highlands College, and the Douglasville Post Office. Route 30 will serve Thornton Road Walmart, Cobb West Business Park and Six Flags Industrial Park, Tributary Community and the Employment Hub, including the Amazon Fulfillment Center, West Rock, Medline, and Coloplast. Route 40 connects to Routes 10, 20, and 30 to provide service from Douglasville to the Lithia Springs area. This route will also provide a connection to Cobb Link Route 30, which will provide a connection to the HE Home Smarta Station. 
For more information about Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service and the many ways the Douglas County Division of Transit Services serves the citizens of Douglas County, please visit us online at connectdouglas.com or contact us at 770-949-7665. Next time you're on your computer, be sure to Google Douglas County to see how and why Google decided to make our county one of its new homes by bringing a data center to the area. Check out this video. This community is a family community. We're very, very caring, and we try to make sure that everyone has an opportunity, and Google has taken on that same attitude. Google's such a great community partner. Having them in this community really makes a difference. It sets the bar for other companies when they come in. They have been the anchor for Douglas County. Everything has just kind of flourished and built, uh, worked around Google. It's been a very contagious moment, and I'm excited about what Google has started in Douglas County. We've seen more information technology companies decide to make an investment here. Last year alone, we announced three co-location data centers, and the confidence that they had in the community was driven to a great extent by the presence of Google. Google is a wonderful community neighbor and partner. They do so much for our community and for the school system. Google has provided many grants, all to make our programs better and help us better reach and teach students. For all of us that are involved in technology, we had to at some point in our lives be exposed to it and find out we really loved it. We work really hard to make sure we can bring them into the loop of math or science in a way that doesn't intimidate them and that helps them to realize they may love it. It may be a career for them. And they've been very supportive, giving us grants to purchase technology that's needed in the schools and the labs. Students are much more engaged when they're hands-on and they're participating in their education. We have a number of students who are functionally nonverbal or even completely nonverbal. And the Google grant has allowed us to buy devices that allow them to communicate. It's just amazing. That's a key in learning is to be able to communicate. Google as a community partner has been very active in a number of different areas, whether it's supporting our local Boys and Girls Club, downtown Wi-Fi here in Douglasville, advancing efforts to get girls and minorities in STEM, also putting on wonderful events. The Georgia Gravity Games is a huge draw from all across the state. We have the local kids build cars and come race them and they're all gravity powered. We're trying to get them to understand the math and the physics behind what makes those cars go fast. Georgia Tech comes in and so it integrates not only the kids in elementary, middle, and high school, but college as well. They're just excited to have their hands on something. They have a chance to work on the car and make it faster. They're super excited to see the end result. They compete like crazy to get that first place. Google is a life-changing experience and they have made a huge difference in Douglas County. We're seeing impact from our small businesses to our, our local governments to our nonprofit associations are benefiting from Google's presence. Douglas County won big at the 17th Annual Congressional Art Competition Award Ceremony hosted by Congressman David Scott. After approximately 70 student artists submitted work from multiple counties for the contest, five were recognized, three were awarded scholarships, and the first place went to Douglas County High School student, Abebola Adewele. She was awarded $12,000 to the Art Institute of Atlanta, $12,000 to Savannah College of Art and Design, $1,000 from AT&T, and Georgia Power. We thank Congressman Scott for his commitment to advancing the lives of our future through art. Now with our education update, we welcome to the studio Douglas County School System Communications Director, Portia Lake. Douglas County student athletes are now chasing championships in the competitive sports craze sweeping the nation known as eSports. This Georgia High School Association new team sport is helping Douglas students rack up wins not just on the playing field but on the computer screen. Six team members practice at home and at New Manchester High in hopes of one day competing in the lucrative world of video gaming. 
50 Georgia schools now recognize eSports as an official school sport. eSports fans say gaming offers these students STEM opportunities and scholarship dollars. Kaleidoscope 2019 delighted audiences at the Douglas County High School Mashburn Theater this spring with the dazzling evening of talent. Kaleidoscope is Douglas County's one night only salute to the arts. Talented high school students from throughout Douglas County pack the evening with powerhouse performances in vocals, dance, and visual arts. The evening's performances also included an acapella performance, show choir numbers, and energetic selections from popular musicals. From Chapel Hill High's fabulously fun Legally Blonde, the musical, to Alexander's Beauty and the Beast, theater lovers were treated to an evening of first-class entertainment. Proceeds benefited the foundation and high school fine arts programs. The Douglas County School System is currently hiring bus drivers. The DCSS Transportation Department provides school bus service for more than 26,000 students. More than 300 buses serve more than 450 routes all across Douglas County. These buses, they average over 12,000 miles a day. New drivers in training will be hired at a rate of $15.82 an hour with benefits available beginning the first of the month following 30 days of employment. For more information, submit an application online at dcssga.org or call the Transportation Department at 770-651-2400. Speaking of our students, since the school year is coming to an end, we would like to take this moment to congratulate all of the graduating classes of each high school in the Douglas County School System. Whether you've decided to continue your education or into the work field, on the behalf of DCTV 23, we wish you the absolute best. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and online at dctv23.com. We end our show with a monthly birthday celebration for seniors at Woody Fight. See you next time. Good morning to everybody. I'm so glad you are here as we celebrate the, the May birthdays, okay. Um, I know we have some folks here a lot of folks here with birthdays and a lot of people that came with them, friends or spouses or whatever. So welcome, welcome to the Woody Fight May birthday party. And I'm gonna let Dion say a few words. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all? On behalf of the Board of Commissioner's Office and Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, we would like to wish everyone a happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go, folks. Okay. Oh, we got trumpet sounds now. That's good. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, and I'm going to find out who we've got here today. My name is Lynette Hurd. I am, um, my birthday is May 7th, which is coming up on Tuesday. I'll be 69 years old, and I am from Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay, New Jersey. We have a lot of folks hey. from New Jersey mm -hmm. and New York. Okay, let's find out who, who this is. <laughs> My name is Clyde Farmer, and I was born in Butler, Georgia, which is Taylor County, and I am 78, I will be 78 years old on Monday. Mm, Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you were born in Butler, Georgia? Butler, Georgia, yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. We're going to move on over here. Mm. I'll come back over there. I'm Rosamond Ando from Ghana. I was born in Ghana, and tomorrow will be my birthday. I'll be 70 years. My daughter here in Douglasville, and I'm living with her. Very good. So we finally got it we, right off the bat almost. We got mm -hmm. our international person, so happy birthday. <laughs> OK, here we go. Hi, I'm Barbara Williams. I'll be 74 on Monday. And I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. I think we would have figured that one out, honey, <laughs> because of the accent. So. All right. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Louise Biggers, and my birthday is 15th May. I'll be 70 years old, 
and I was born in Amelia, Virginia. Okay, nice. Virginia. We haven't had too many people from Virginia. Mm -hmm. All right, and who is this? <laughs> My name is Colin Guthrie. I was born in Jamaica. And my birthday is good. May 5th. How old? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now you know. You couldn't figure it out. <laughs> if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to be 58. <laughs> okay, you're a young one in here. Huh? <laughs> okay. We're going to run back over here. Okay. Get right. this lady right here. Frederica Smithson. They call me Keel Smithson, actually. Um, I was born May 11th, 1938. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> Where were you born? St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, Missouri. Yes. Midwest <laughs> folks here. My name is Judy Runyon. I was born May the 8th, 1951 in Cedartown, Georgia. You can tell the way I talk, I'm a Southern person. <laughs> okay. And, and this next Wednesday, I'll be 68 years old. All right, very good. Okay. This lady right here, I was talking to before the party started, and um, quite something else, so we want to know about her. What's your name? Ruth Renfro. I was born at Georgia Baptist Hospital 93 years ago today. Wow. How about that? And today is her birthday, and she came to share it with all of y'all. She told me beforehand, she did voluntarily give up her car keys, okay? <laughs> A lot of us need to think about that, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all something. I was not only thinking about Ruth Renfro, I was thinking about some of y'all. <laughs> Had I... I don't have much mind, I tell you, that's the only thing when you lose your mind. And I said, I volunteer, laid my keys down so my children wouldn't worry about me and I wouldn't hurt or kill somebody else. I'd never get over that. I am a Christian. I wouldn't give up on that. Oh, and we thank you for that. <laughs> She also told me she's out in the yard cutting stuff down and hauling it away. So that's pretty good for 93. So we're proud of that. Okay, let's go right here. My my name is Molin Pierre. I am living in Douglasville. I'm I'm coming here. I'm Where were you born? Haiti. Haiti. Okay. Haiti. I'm seventy years old. Seventy five years old. All right, very good, very, very good. We're gonna move over here. Okay, and right. your name, sir? My name is Willie Barfield. I was born May 16, 1942. I am now, seven, I'll be 77 years old, the 16th of this month. And where were you born? I was born in Jackson County, Georgia. Okay. We've got a few Georgia people here. And I love his shirt. It says retired under new management. <laughs> so that, that's pretty good, huh? Okay. Oh, my name is Oscar Moore. I was born May 4th, 1948. I'll be 71 tomorrow. I was from Sumter, South Carolina. Oh, good. We got somebody from South Carolina. I'm a South Carolina girl, too. So, yeah. So we got somebody there. Very good. All right, sir. And your name? Augustino Patty. P A T T I, Patty. Okay, and where were you born? I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, we have one other St. Louis mm -hmm. person over here, I believe. Okay, and how old are you? I'm going to be 68 years old on Wednesday. On oh, Wednesday. Well, happy mm -hmm. birthday. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, and your name? My name is Dorothy Coven. And I was born in Greene County, Alabama. And I'll be 66 on Mother's Day, May 12th. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. OK, Medea. My name is Ann Robinson. And I was born on May 11th. And I'll be 74 years old then. Wow. And I was born in Maryland. Maryland, OK. Mm -hmm. 
All right, dear. Hello. Hey. I'm Allie Phillips. I was born in Bessemer City, North Carolina. North Carolina. That's, that's close enough to South Carolina. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be 87. Wow. Very good. Nice. Very good. I do all my yard work, too. Cut my grass and everything. Wow. Well, I'm going to get the two of y'all together to come to my house. Okay? <laughs> I need a whole lot of stuff done at my house. I need a whole lot of stuff done at mine, too. Okay. <laughs> I can't find my volunteers. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. My name is Brenda Ritchie, and I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. My birthday is May 19th, and I will be 78. Very good. Okay, and this, this little lady here that's already given me hugs. So. My name is Ernestine Allen. On May the 10th, I'll be 77 years old. Okay, and where were you born? I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. And I lived in Detroit for most of my life. And I've been here for about 11 years. Okay, well, welcome to Douglasville. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> My name is Elsie Wells. I was born in New York City. My birthday is tomorrow, May 4th. And, um, how old are you going to be? 88. 88. Okay. Okay. All right. And I do believe we had somebody sneak in over uh -huh. here. He does this to me all the time, y'all. So. Okay, need your name. My name is Elroy King. Originally, I'm from Guyana, South America. I now live in Villarica. From where in South America? Guyana. Guyana. Okay, very good. And how old are you, Elroy? I'll be 74 on the 16th. On the 16th, very good. He is a very good pickleball player, too, so. Okay? If I can hold him down, sometimes he gets a little wound up over there. So. Did I miss anybody? Okay. Very good. Okay, we got to sing, y'all. You can't have a birthday unless you sing. So everybody help me out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, 